Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Universal Creation. Only My World is Indescribable. Chapter 21. The magnificent color of star color slowly turned transparent, completely melting into the air, and no trace could be seen anymore. When she felt that the creator might be in danger, Xing Zhikai entered the most advanced fighting state without the slightest hesitation. In this state, not only the traces of Xing Zhikai cannot be captured by the target, but also the speed can be increased to the extreme. The siren head seemed to be facing a formidable enemy, and the weird color disappeared in front of his eyes so abruptly. Although he couldn't see it, the dangerous aura had already firmly locked him in. Zizi, 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 Zizi. The two sirens on the siren's head turned on instantly, emitting a piercing electric sound that made the scalp tingle. This is the prelude to the destruction sound wave. Seeing that Siren Head was about to unleash the biggest killer move, and Xing Zhikai had quietly appeared behind Siren Head, Lin Mo waved his hand and said with a smile. They're all our own people, so don't make such a big fuss. Zizi, Zizi, received. Siren Head turned off the siren without hesitation. The color of the star also instantly lit up, reappearing in the air. For them, the order of the creator is the supreme will. That is the creed imprinted deep in their souls. It is also the meaning of their existence. Let's go. Lin Mo took the lead and stepped into the world channel. Siren Head and Star Color followed closely behind. Endless purple-black streamers flew around rapidly, and the next moment, a smell of damp soil rushed into his nose, and he felt the soft feeling of stepping on the soil under his feet. Lin Mo opened his eyes, and after seeing the scene in front of him clearly, his expression showed a little surprise. The dim setting sun hangs obliquely on the horizon, casting misty sunlight. Under the shroud of dim light, a piece of withered yellow wheat field spread towards the surroundings, boundless, it seemed that only this piece of wheat field was left in the whole world. This is, the Scarecrow Civilization. The Scarecrow Civilization belongs to the high-level civilization. Although it is far less powerful than the Extraordinary Civilization, it is also one of the worlds with a famous name and high combat power. But the scarecrow world in front of him is full of decay. Apparently it has been abandoned for some time. I'm afraid that even the creator has long since fallen. But Lin Mo did not take it lightly. Because on the ground where the wheat fields take root, there are densely packed rotting corpses half covered everywhere, as well as broken skeletons covered in mud. Those were all creatures who had died here. Everywhere. Countless. Before I came here, this world has fought countless world wars. And every time, it survived successfully. Those intruders are now buried in the ground under their feet, providing a steady stream of nutrients for the growth of the wheat field. At this time, the setting sun in the sky had already set, and a thin moon rose slowly, casting a faint light in the dark night. Russell, Russell. Suddenly, there was a strange sound. Linmo lowered his head, and saw that the ground under his feet turned up without warning. There were spider web like lines on the ground and dirt bumps of different sizes bulged up one after another. It seems that there is something terrible, slowly wriggling under the package of mud. Pooh. The next moment, a pale arm stretched out from the ground of the wheat field. A few pieces of rotten flesh hung on the arm, covered with huge white maggots, and the black and blue nails on the palm were as sharp as thorns, exuding a chilling and terrifying aura. Pooh. Immediately afterwards, another arm stretched out. Another one. Another one, dot dot dot. In just a moment, the ground around Lin Mo was already covered with thick and terrifying arms. Some of those arms are left arms, some are right arms. Some are long and some are short. Some belong to humans, and some belong to beasts. Some are huge and some are pitiful. They stand in the dark shadows cast by the wheat fields, and at a certain moment, they stab at the uninvited human beings. They want to smash him into a sieve. Once upon a time, I was just like him, so fresh. But now he is trapped here, turned into a puppet in this wheat field, being dominated and enslaved wantonly. Bring it on. Stay here. Die here. Be like us. Monster ah 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 ah. Although these arms cannot think, as puppets enslaved by the wheat field, they are full of resentment. Killing all the outsiders who came to this world is their only idea. A gust of wind blew in, and the wheat fields turned into withered yellow waves, which rustled and folded in all directions. Lin Mo looked at the dry palms stabbing at him one after another, but didn't move at all. 
The next moment, a little light suddenly lit up around him. At the beginning of the light, there was only a small dot. But at the same time as it lit up, it was like a spark floating into the ocean of gasoline, and Lin Mo was instantly ignited by this magnificent light within a range of 100 meters around Lin Mo's body. That light exuded a strange color from outside the sky, floating in the air, flowing on the ground, and gently falling on those terrifying arms one after another. Then pack it tightly. Those arms shimmered with the same color as the stars, and all the movements froze at this moment. Their vitality is passing away like flying, and those rotten flesh seems to be melting, and they are quickly swallowed by the stars. The sharp and sharp skeleton also became dry and cracked in an instant. As if it had been baked by a raging fire, it turned gray and brittle, and it disintegrated and scattered without a sound, turning into fly ash all over the ground. These carrion corpses in the wheat fields are equivalent to black iron level creatures. In front of Xing Zhikai, they are naturally powerless to fight back, only to be beaten. But this wheat field is really too big. And over the years, the number of rotting corpses buried here has reached an astonishing level. More and more soil pockets bulged on the ground farther away, and those rotting corpses squirmed and gathered underground, bulging out bigger soil pockets one after another. At a certain moment, a distorted monster made of broken limbs and broken arms tore through the cracked ground and slowly crawled out from under the ground. And then the second one. The third one. The fourth one. Dot dot dot. The roots of these deformed monsters are covered with wheat seedlings, some have broken arms and exposed bone stubble, some have only a dry leg, some intestines are dragging on the ground, and some even have only half of their heads left. While roaring meaninglessly, they wobbled towards Lin Mo. But although these puppets in the wheat field look very scary, they are not much stronger than the previous arms after all. They couldn't hold on in front of Xing Zhikai for a moment, and they turned into bone powder all over the ground. It seemed to be getting darker. All of a sudden, there was an extremely foul stench, which made people want to vomit, blowing towards the face with the breeze in the air. Lin Mo raised his head and saw dozens of shadowy figures appearing in the wheat fields all around him. These figures were hung on a high wooden frame, with tattered clothes hanging on their bodies. Under the faded clothes, there were one after another hideous scarecrows. They vaguely have the appearance and body of humans, but their bodies are covered with sharp and dry straws. Those straws pierced their rotting bodies, and fell in midair, fluttering gently with the wind, making a scalp-numbing rustling sound. The bleak moonlight fell and fell on the scarecrow, making these terrifying creatures look like devils from hell. This is the most powerful creature in this scarecrow world. Shivering scarecrow. At the same time, it is also one of the creatures preferred by the creator of all scarecrow civilizations. The shivering scarecrow has a proven vitality. And cruel and fierce, with extremely strong combat power. Among the creatures of the same level of high level civilization, the strength is enough to rank in the forefront. At one point, these scarecrows, motionless as if in deep sleep, suddenly raised their heads. Ho ho, ho ho, ho ho, ho ho. A piercing strange smile came along with the wind, and the trembling scarecrow strode towards Lin Mo with a very weird and distorted pace. This is the shivering scarecrow. A look of interest appeared on Lin Mo's face, it was the first time he had seen this kind of weird creature. At the same time, those extremely fast scarecrows are already in sight. In the ear-piercing strange laughter, they opened their mouths, revealing densely packed ferocious sharp teeth, splashing out foul-smelling saliva, and biting Lin Mo down. Zizi, 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 Zizi. But at this moment, a strange voice suddenly came from afar. The sound was harsh and unpleasant, like the noisy current from the speaker before it was turned on. Woo. The next moment, a low siren sounded suddenly without any warning. Woo. The frequency of that voice was extremely strange, full of indescribable madness and confusion. Sometimes sharp, sometimes low, sometimes erratic in the sky, sometimes exploding in the ear. The voice carries unparalleled danger and oppression. Enough to make all living beings who heard it fall into complete madness and fear. As if this should not have appeared in this world. Taboo magic sound. The moment those terrifying scarecrows heard the sound wave of destruction, they completely lost all consciousness. Every corner of their bodies exploded instantly under the attack of sound waves like substance. 
The eardrums shattered, the facial features exploded, and the whole body was covered with dense and hideous cracks. The cracks opened outwards, spilling a foul-smelling and viscous black liquid. And those straws that could provide them with a huge defense ability disintegrated in an instant and turned into crumbs. They maintained an attacking posture, but they all froze in place. On the face outlined by the broken grass clippings, a kind of emotion that is extremely rare for them can be vaguely seen. Panic. It's indescribable, like a tsunami-like fright. They didn't even realize that their bodies had already been destroyed, and the terrifying power of the destructive sound wave invaded their consciousness the moment it came, bringing them indescribable fear. Very domineering. Incomparably brutal. That terrifying sound wave can not only destroy the target's body, but also easily destroy the target's consciousness. At this moment, these scarecrows even felt that their souls were trembling uncontrollably, and they held in fear. That is, the breath of death. Since the fall of the Creator, they have lived in this world for decades, and have experienced countless world battles. There are many powerful high-level civilizations in those worlds, but in the end, all those creatures were ruthlessly devoured by them and became the nourishment for evolution. These scarecrows have never been so scary. So vulnerable. In this way, there is no way to fight back. This time the opponent. What kind of monster world is this? This is the last thought in the surviving consciousness of the scarecrows. Boom. 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 There was a huge cracking sound that could not be heard and the trembling scarecrows surrounding Linmo were all shattered under the penetration of the destruction sound wave, turning into blood mist. Group after group of blood-red fireworks exploded over the wheat field, playing the final movement for this world. At this moment, although most of the shuddering scarecrows in this world are completely dead, but there are still some hidden in the wheat fields, which have not appeared in front of Linmo. After all, this scarecrow world is hundreds of kilometers in diameter, so it is naturally impossible for there to be only a few dozen scarecrows. The crazily howling sound of destruction sonic slowly fell silent. Although this skill can be called terrifying, its effect will be greatly reduced for those targets that are far away. Buzz, 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 buzz. There was another messy sound from Siren Head's loudspeaker, but soon, this harsh buzzing sound turned into another strange sound. Ho ho, ho ho. Ho ho, ho ho. This hoarse voice was exactly the same as the weird tones made by those trembling scarecrows just now. And this sound is obviously different from those made by those scarecrows. His voice was full of pain and pleading, as if he was on the verge of extinction, and he was desperately calling for help from his companions. Lin Mo's eyes lit up suddenly. Siren Head doesn't just mimic the sound of your targets. It can even simulate the most suitable sound according to the current situation. Adaptiveness. This skill seems to be a bit against the sky. Lin Mo chuckled and said to himself. Ho ho, ho ho. Ho ho, ho ho. The begging tone followed the wind in all directions, and in just a dozen seconds, rustling sounds came from everywhere in the wheat field. Accompanied by a disgusting stench, the scarecrows hidden in the depths of the wheat field appeared and appeared in Lin Mo's sight. They gathered together and moved quickly towards the direction where their companions were calling for help. But what awaited them was a dreamlike light and the sound of doomsday sounding again. The battle is over. Dear creator, you have successfully defeated your opponent and won this battle. Congratulations on getting the spoils. Shenyuan asterisk 2. Please make persistent efforts, keep going. Hey, this time I got two divine sources. I think it's because the combat power of this world is much higher than that of the original world before, so the rewards will be increased. Lin Mo was a little delighted, although two divine sources are not even enough for one creation of his own, but little adds up, so you have to take your time. After winning the battle, the winner can plunder the loser's world. Loot for a chance to get various world resources. Do you want to start now? The reminder sounded again. Lin Mo nodded without hesitation. Start looting. Plundering in progress. The looting is over. Congratulations on obtaining. High quality soil asterisk 10,000 square meters. World diameter asterisk 50 kilometers. Good soil. 50 kilometers world diameter. Ah this. Seeing the plundered rewards, Linmo fell into deep silence again. At least. It's much better than the virgin forest and the world diameter of 10 kilometers last time. Linmo quickly adjusted and tried to comfort himself. Dot dot dot. 
Lin Mo returned to her indescribable realm. Xing Jikai sank to the bottom of Shingling Lake and fell into a deep sleep. Siren Head also stood in the huge shadow of Siren Forest, motionless like a dry tree. That perfect camouflage, even Lin Mo, can't easily distinguish it without looking carefully. The whole world fell into deep silence again. Even though it was already daytime, the indescribable realm did not have the vitality it should have. The thick clouds in the sky firmly blocked the light, and the whole world was dark and scary. Cracked earth, withered forests, dark lakes. Everything that is suppressed is simply breathless. But for Lin Mo, this is the real indescribable realm in his mind. Lin Mo is extremely satisfied with the appearance of his world. With a thought, he applied the results of this plunder to the world. The ground under his feet turned, and the barriers of the world slowly expanded outwards. Soon, the indescribable realm was successfully upgraded from the previous 20 kilometers in diameter to the current more than 70 kilometers. There are still 10,000 square meters of high-quality soil. The corner of Lin Mo's mouth twitched, and he placed it on the plain a few kilometers away from Shingling Lake. In an instant, large swaths of dark soil surged up from the ground, covering a piece of ground the size of a playground tightly. The soil is neither soft nor delicate, but densely packed with dark brown clods like rocks, sharp in shape and extremely hard. In the continuous gaps in the soil, rotting mutilated limbs and broken bones can be seen faintly. Quote dot dot dot. What about the good quality soil? That's it. Isn't it a little too perfunctory? Looking at the scene in front of him, Lin Mo was numb. But soon, an interesting idea emerged in my mind. Lin Mo's eyes showed thought, and then slowly raised the corners of his mouth. Although this soil does not look very good, it is used as a habitat for the next creation. It seems to be unexpectedly appropriate. Dot dot dot. Although he already has an idea for the next indescribable form that will be created, but the source of the gods in his body is far from enough. But Lin Mo is not in a hurry. In the indescribable realm, whether it is the upgrade of the world or the strength level of the creatures, they have already left the creator of the same level far behind. And I just created Siren Head, so there's no need to be so stupid. Lin Mo exited the boundless sea and returned to the real world. A message came from the mobile phone at the side. Lin Mo turned on the screen and saw that everyone in the class group was chatting happily. Chen Yuan, the man in your world who practiced evil swordsmanship. Dot how is it now? Tang Yu, Tang Yu, I am currently in a relatively stable mood, except that I suddenly started to like women's clothing. Chen Yuan, a crime. Tang Yu, if there is really no other way, I can only delete the account and practice again. Hashtag distressed hash. Zhang Xiaofei, what are you going to practice this time? Evil resisting sword manual 2.0. Tang Yu, stop talking. Tang Yu, by the way, how is your original world upgraded? Have you created living beings? Chen Yuan, after my unremitting efforts, I finally successfully created an ape at 3.23 this afternoon. Hashtag proud hash. Chen Yuan, this is a historic moment. Wang Bing, are you a little too primitive? Wang Bing, people are directly creating primitive people, but you are good, are you going to evolve from apes? Closing square bracket. Chen Yuan, I have tried my best. Chen Yuan, where is Goddess Zhang, to what extent has your stone armored demon ape been upgraded? After a while, Zhang Qianqin, it has been upgraded to the peak of the first level, and it is only one step away from breaking through to the second level. Wang Bing, whoa, as expected of Goddess Ginger. Second order creatures, it's still bronze, simply invincible. Wang Bing, the first place in the next test will definitely be yours. Chen Yuan, However, I heard that the monks in Class 1 Wu Lingfeng's Fighting Qi world have also upgraded from the third stage of fighting power to the ninth stage, and they are very close to the fighters. Chen Yuan, and I heard that this guy even arranged a golden finger for his creatures. It seems that he is called Yao Lao. It seems that he is too strong. Chen Yuan, this guy is definitely the number one competitor of Goddess Zhang. Tang Yu, ahem, Tang Yu. Have you forgotten the first place in the last test, our classmate Lin Mo? After seeing Tang Yu's speech, class 4 fell into a brief silence. They naturally did not forget the existence of Lin Mo. It's just that after the last test, when everyone returned home, 
the more they thought about it, the more incredible it became. As the creator of the ordinary world, how did Lin Mo crush Zhang Qianchen and Wu Lingfeng to win the first place? Everyone racked their brains and racked their brains, but they couldn't imagine a reasonable explanation. They have never heard of such a bizarre thing before. Maybe, Lin Mo really had an accident with the instrument during the test, so he won the first place by mistake. No one could think of a more reasonable explanation than this. So subconsciously, the students in class 4 did not match Lin Mo's first place with his combat power in the world. The first place won by virtue of the examiner's mistakes will still be returned in the end. In the eyes of everyone, the most powerful students in No. 7 middle school are still Zhang Qianchen and Wu Lingfeng who opened up the extraordinary world. Lin Mo has long been subconsciously ignored by them. Chen Yuan, this, although I also want to see the plot of Brother Lin's counterattack and slap in the face. Open black lens bracket Chen Yuan, but, the truth may not be as optimistic as we imagined, close black lens bracket. Although what Chen Yuan said was very euphemistic, but what I want to express is that everyone can see it. Like him, most people in the class dislike Lin Mo. Zhang Qianchen, hash xiao xiao hash false will not become true. No one can always go on by taking advantage of other people's mistakes, after all, it's just deceiving others. Zhang Qianchen, don't talk for now, I'm going to help the stone armored demon ape hit the second level, see you at school in a few days. Zhang Qianchen's head darkened. Indeed, goddess Zhang is right, it's just a fluke. Perhaps the examiner who took the test last time was a relative of his family. Tisk tisk. It's not for the sake of two divine sources, is it? Some people are eccentric. Brother Lin won't do this kind of thing. I've been a classmate for so long. Who is Lin Mo? Don't you know? Don't think of people so darkly, do you think everyone is like you? Hey, I hope Brother Lin won't be hit during the next test. Someone speak up for Lin Mo. Tang Yu, I don't know why, but I always feel that Lin Mo will be unexpected next time. Tang Yu expressed his opinions in the group, but the words he said were quickly suppressed and disappeared. Not many people saw it. Even if someone saw it, I'm afraid they would just laugh it off. Dot dot dot. Lin Mo turned off the phone. He doesn't care about the comments and evaluations of his classmates. Other people's opinions are only other people's opinions after all. It didn't work at all. Can't change anything. To waste energy and thought on this kind of thing is something a fool would do. I don't have time to get acquainted with a group of children. However, I don't mind if I slap some people in the face during the test. Lin Mo shrugged and laughed. Dot dot dot. Seven days passed in a blink of an eye. Ring ring ring. The alarm clock at the bedside rang. Lin Mo opened his eyes, sat up from the bed, stretched his waist and yawned long. Today is the day to go to school for the second test. Lin Mo got up and washed, went out quickly had breakfast downstairs, and walked towards the school facing the rising sun. Number 7 middle school is very close to where Lin Mo lives, and it took only a few minutes for Lin Mo to arrive at the school. It was still the same testing room as last time. The students in class 4 were already waiting outside the testing room, and when they saw Lin Mo coming, they all had different expressions. Brother Lin, this way, morning, little mosey. The students who have a good relationship with Lin Mo on weekdays greeted each other loudly. Lin Mo nodded and smiled, beckoning to everyone. Morning. Student Lin Mo, how is your preparation for this quiz going? A petite soft girl spoke in a low voice, blinking her bright eyes. Lin Mo turned his head and saw Tang Yu beside him. Okay. Lin Mo smiled. Still number one. Tang Yu's eyes lit up. It should be okay. Lin Mo nodded. I knew it. Tang Yu waved his small fist, his face full of complacency that I had guessed a long time ago. Zhang Qianchen, who was on the side, heard the conversation between the two, and the corner of her mouth curled up with a disdainful arc. These two guys really dare to speak and the other dare to believe. Or first, the stone armored demon ape in my own world has successfully upgraded to the second level. The monks in Wu Lingfeng's battle Qi world have also broken through to fighters. An ordinary civilization at the bottom, may I ask you? Where did you get your confidence? Do you think this test will be as ridiculous as last time? It's so naive and makes people want to laugh. Let's wait and see. 
The time for testing will come soon. The door of the testing room was pushed open from the inside. A strange invigilator came out of the room, held up a roll call and said. The first one, Chen Yuan. Hey, Chen Yuan trotted into the testing room. Hey, why did the invigilator suddenly change this time? I've never seen it before. It doesn't seem to belong to our school. I heard it was because after the last test result was reported, the staff of the Education Bureau thought that our no. 7 middle school test was tricky, so they sent a special person to invigilate the test. While explaining, someone looked towards Lin Mo intentionally or unintentionally, and the meaning in the words was self-evident. Hiss. So it is like this. Won't the test this time be more stringent? This guy Lin Mo made us all miserable. Someone spoke indignantly. Pull it down, with your bottom one ranking, no matter how strict you are, there is no room for decline. That's right. Your kid's world has not created any souls. What's the difference between being strict and not strict? The classmates around Lin Mo turned back mercilessly. The student who spoke just now blushed instantly, looked at them bitterly, and stopped talking. It's not that I'm scared, it's that I was poked in a sore spot, so I dare not say it. When it comes up, it's real damage, who can stand it? Crunch. The door of the testing room was pushed open, and Chen Yuan came out happily, with an extremely happy expression on his face. Ha ha, the invigilator praised me ha ha. As soon as Chen Yuan came out, he shouted happily. The original world didn't even have a ghost when he tested it last time. This time he managed to create an ape and was praised by the examiner, so he was naturally extremely happy. How do you boast? Everyone asked curiously. Others directly created primitive people, but I chose to create primitive people's ancestors. The invigilators praised me for being very thoughtful. They said that the creations in my world are pure and have a wild beauty. Chen Yuan held his head high and held his chest high, very proud. Ah this, are you sure this is, complimenting you? Everyone hesitated for a moment, seeing the kid's happy face, they still gave up the idea of explaining to him the meaning of the invigilator's words. The next one is the soft girl Tang Yu. Come on. Lin Mo cheers this little girl up. Um. Tang Yu nodded heavily and entered the testing room. After about a few minutes, Tang Yu finished the test and walked out. How about it? Everyone asked. Everyone in Tang Yu world was full of humanistic care for the man who had practiced the evil sword manual. This, Tang Yu said with a sad face. The invigilator said that the mental state of the creatures in my world is a bit worrying. So they suggested that I teach him a new exercise besides the evil sword manual. What technique? Sunflower treasure. Hiss. Everyone couldn't help gasping. The evil sword manual is not enough. Do you want another sunflower book? The same injury, will come twice. What evil did this creature do? Tang Yu covered her face and almost cried. The invigilator said that this is a serious illness that requires strong medicine and medicine, fighting poison with fire. It is indeed poisonous. Everyone was powerless to complain. Next. Wang Bing. Dot dot dot. Next. Zhang Xiaofei. Dot dot dot. Next. Zhang Qianqin. The invigilator called the roll call loudly. Goddess Ginger is here. Ginger Goddess YYDS. Come on, Qianqin. Everyone was talking all over the place. No matter Zhang Qianqin's appearance, family background or personal ability, she is outstanding and far surpasses everyone else. This is a peer who is excellent enough to look up to. Therefore, many students in class 4 are her loyal fans. Zhang Qianqin entered the testing room. The invigilator of the Education Bureau has also heard about this gifted girl who has awakened the extraordinary world. He smiled encouragingly and said in a gentle voice. Expand your phantom world. Um. Zhang Qianqin nodded, and with a thought, a dark light group slowly condensed out behind him. Then the light cluster began to grow rapidly, and spread out in the blink of an eye, filling the entire testing room. At the same time, a majestic phantom of the world emerged out of thin air in the light group. Sure enough, it's a Warcraft civilization. The invigilator's face showed surprise. The size of this world is astonishingly large, as if it is boundless. He just glanced at it, and he knew that the diameter of this world already exceeded a thousand kilometers. Now open the world barrier. Next, I will enter your world for on-the-spot observation, relax a little, don't be nervous. 
The more the invigilator watched, the more he liked this student. Zhang Qianqin and Wu Lingfeng, who started fighting spirit civilization in class 1, such a seedling, if nothing else happens, will definitely have the qualifications to participate in the elite challenge and hit the top 10 top universities. Only such a proud son of heaven can be the pillar of our country. It is the existence that those students who rely on nepotism to cheat and cheat will never look up to them in their entire lives. Okay, teacher. Zhang Qianqin nodded obediently, relaxed her mind, closed the world barrier, and opened up the world completely. The whole process is extremely smooth and extremely skilled. Good. The invigilator nodded approvingly, and walked into Zhang Qianqin's world. In Zhang Qianqin's world of Warcraft, the land is vast and the soil is fertile, with uncanny peaks standing tall, and endless rivers roaring in. The sunlight on the sky is soft and warm, the ground is covered with lush flowers and trees, and all kinds of birds and beasts can be seen everywhere in the mountains and forests. A strong breath of life rushed over. Such a vibrant Warcraft civilization is top-notch in the extraordinary world. The invigilator was amazed. Even though as a staff member of the Education Bureau, he had already seen the world of countless students, but at this moment, the invigilator was still deeply shocked. The invigilator's eyes searched Zhang Qianqin's world, and after a while, he locked in a towering virgin forest. Roar. An earth-shattering roar sounded suddenly, and the leaves in the trembling forest rustled down. Immediately afterwards, the sound of violent biting came from afar, as if a fierce battle was going on in the forest. But the battle lasted less than a few seconds. After a feeble scream, all voices stopped completely. This, should be the stone-armored demon ape in Zhang Qianqin's world. The invigilator showed interest in his eyes, disappeared, and entered the primeval forest. As a high-level creator, it is still easy to cover his tracks in the world of a junior creator. The invigilator walked towards the place where the voice came from just now, and after a while, he saw the stone-armored ape. This second-order monster is more than two meters tall, with a majestic figure, covered with gray fur like a stone armor. At this time, it was tearing off the hind legs of a colorful tiger and devouring it with big mouthfuls. Presumably the scream just now came from this fierce tiger. To be able to kill a ferocious beast so easily, the strength of this second-order stone armored demon ape is really extraordinary. In the entire No. 7 middle school, I'm afraid that only Wu Lingfeng's fighter can match him. While thinking, the invigilator quit Zhang Qianqin's World of Warcraft. Yes, your Warcraft civilization is even better than I imagined. The invigilator did not hesitate to praise himself. For a senior high school student who has just opened up the world, what you have done can be said to have reached the limit. Enough to make other primary creators feel ashamed. As expected, the first place in this test is definitely you. Thank you, teacher. There was a look of joy on Zhang Qianqin's face, she thought for a while and said. Teacher, Wu Lingfeng from class 1. Wu Lingfeng and Zhang Qianqin are both the creators of the extraordinary world. They are powerful, and Zhang Qianqin has always regarded them as rivals. Although the creatures in Wu Lingfeng's fighting spirit world have also been upgraded to fighters, but at the same level, the strength of human creatures in the early stage is slightly weaker than that of beasts. So the ranking of this test, he should be behind you. The invigilator explained patiently. Huh. Hearing what the invigilator said, Zhang Qianqin let out a long sigh of relief. As long as Wu Lingfeng can't pose a threat to him, then the first place must be in his pocket. However, don't be complacent because of temporary achievements. I have seen too many talents end up in obscurity. Only by being humble and aggressive can you reach the top and become a real strong. The invigilator did not forget to teach with earnestness and earnestness, for fear that this little guy would go astray. Zhang Qianqin's heart trembled, and she nodded seriously. I remember, teacher. Dot dot dot. Outside the testing room, dozens of people were looking forward to it. After knowing that Zhang Qianqin, the famous number, 7 middle school, was undergoing the test, even students from other classes and grades came over to join in the fun. Crunch. The door of the testing room was pushed open, and Zhang Qianqin came out with a smile. Goddess Zhang, how's the test going? Is there a result already, Qianqin? Is the first place stable? Then there's no need to ask. It must be stable. Everyone was talking all over the place. 
With an inscrutable smile on Zhang Qianchen's face, he raised a finger and shook it gently. Don't say it, don't say it. Although it cannot be said, everyone knew very clearly that if she couldn't be sure of the first place, Goddess Zhang would never be so calm and confident. Good guy. I'm just a good guy. As expected, it is an extraordinary civilization. A second order creature. Even Wu Lingfeng in our class has been compared. Is it true? What are you thinking? With Goddess Zhang here, your class 1 will always be behind our class 4. Zhang Qianchen's fans started discussing frantically, full of joy and pride, as if they were honored. Next, Lin Mo. Next, Lin Mo. The invigilator's tone was a little indifferent, and there was no expression on his face. It's time for Lin Mo. Come on. Tang Yu made a cheering gesture for Lin Mo. Brother Lin, keep calm. The rest didn't know what to say. The invigilator from the education bureau is obviously here for Lin Mo, this time the test will definitely be much stricter than before. If not, it will count down directly. Maybe it is possible to be the last one. Lin Mo waved his hand to signal everyone not to worry, and walked into the testing room. Tisk tisk. There's a good show to watch. Now it's time to reveal it. First place. I think it's the bottom one. Those who have a normal relationship with Lin Mo whispered one after another. Stand in the center of the testing room and unleash your world. The invigilator looked at the students in front of him with a hint of disgust in his eyes. As a staff member of the Education Bureau, he hated others for being ignorant and deceitful the most in his life. The creator of an ordinary world crushed a group of extraordinary civilizations and high-level civilizations, and won the first place. This is in the entire history of the source country. It's all unique. Even those fantasy novels dare not write such outrageous plots. Whether it was through bribery to get through the back door, or it was really just a mistake made by the teacher of number. 7 Middle School, this number one place is absolutely impossible to be true. In this test, I must let this guy's true strength be exposed. Things obtained by relying on evil methods may bring you short-term vanity and benefits, but in the end it is just a fantasy, a dream. This is an important life principle that I have taught you as a teacher. While thinking about it, the invigilator said blankly, Turn off the world barrier, and next, I will enter your world for field observation. Lin Mo didn't speak, and removed the world barrier casually. In terms of manipulating the world, it's quite remarkable. But just based on this, Zhang Qianchen is still a few hundred Chen Yuan away. The invigilator shook his head and stepped into Lin Mo's world. In the indescribable realm at this time, it was afternoon. The dim sunset hangs obliquely on the horizon, casting the dim yellow afterglow before sunset. Although it is sunlight, there doesn't seem to be any warmth in that light. It fell on the body, and the invigilator couldn't feel any warmth in it. On the contrary, there was even a hint of coldness. The invigilator frowned and looked up into the distance. The area of this world is very small, only a few tens of kilometers in diameter. Although it can't be called pitiful, but in a world of so many students, it is definitely one of the bottom ones. Except for a virgin forest and a lake, there is nothing in the whole world anymore. And whether it is a forest or a lake, they are all very inferior creations. Although the area of the forest is not small, it is dry and dilapidated. In the entire forest, there is not a trace of greenery. The ground in the forest cracked like spider webs, the densely packed trees were all bare with pale bark, and the branches grew straight and brutal, looking ferocious and sharp. A piece of primeval forest doesn't even have the slightest breath of life. If I say this, I'm afraid I'll be laughed out of my teeth. And that lake. The surface of the lake is as dark as a stone, lifeless and without waves. Not only is the water quality extremely poor, there is even no life in the water. Not even a single aquatic plant. This kind of world, even in ordinary civilization, is the bottom of the garbage. The resources are poor, the environment is harsh, the climate is weird, and lifeless. Even if life can be conceived, it will die quickly in a short time. This is clearly a natural, dead world, no potential in growth at all. So, how did this garbage world surpass Zhang Qianchen and Wu Lingfeng and win the first place? The invigilator is extremely disappointed. Not only for Lin Mo's world, but also for the teaching staff of No. 7 Middle School. 7th Middle School is my alma mater, 
and the previous examiner, Mr. Xu, was also my class teacher back then. Seeing his alma mater turned into such a degenerate appearance, the invigilator felt a little sad. And teacher Xu, he has extremely deep qualifications in the education field in the entire Lanzhong city, he is upright and powerful, and he is the most revered first teacher in his heart. Even you, have you become like this? Regarding what teacher Xu did before, the invigilator still had a little luck in his heart. But this last sliver of luck completely disappeared after seeing the world in front of him. The invigilator came to the primeval forest, ready to conduct the final test here. Although he hates this student named Lin Mo, his professional ethics as an examiner does not allow him to draw conclusions about a student's world just based on his first impression. The most basic close-range detection is still required. Withered and dead, there is no vitality at all. Not to mention the creation of intelligent creatures, but even the creation of such low-level life forms is a mess. This Lin Mo's strength is simply astonishingly poor. The invigilator shook his head while testing, his eyes full of disdain. This kind of low-quality resource, even if it is used as firewood, no one will want it. Forget it, there is nothing to test in this world. It's just a waste of time to continue testing. Thinking of this, the invigilator turned and walked towards the exit of Siren Forest. Zizi, 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 Zizi. A strange sound suddenly sounded, and it came to the invigilator's ears unexpectedly. The sound was sharp and piercing, like some kind of electric sound when the instrument was turned on. The invigilator stopped in doubt and looked around, but he didn't see any objects that could make such a sound. The invigilator shook his head and laughed. How could there be such things as electrical appliances in this dilapidated and barren world? I think too much. The invigilator continued to walk out of the forest. Zizi, 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 zizi. But after walking a few steps, the ear-piercing voice sounded again. And this time, the voice seemed to be even louder. The invigilator suddenly stopped and looked up at the surroundings. What? But this time there was still nothing different. In this dead forest, there is nothing but densely packed dry trees. However, the whistling electric sound quietly disappeared at this moment. If you can still say that you heard it wrong the first time, how can you explain it the second time? Empty forest, eerie sounds. The invigilator frowned and thought about it, suddenly feeling a little uneasy for no reason. At this time, he had come to the edge of the primeval forest, and he was only a few hundred meters away from getting out of here completely. The invigilator was puzzled, looked around, and continued to walk out of the forest. Zizi, 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 zizi. The noisy electrical sound suddenly sounded again, but this time it was several times louder than before. It seems that the invisible unknown instrument was finally fully activated at this moment. The invigilator shuddered, but before he could react, a deep siren rang out without warning. Woo! This alarm sound is completely different from any alarm known to human society. The frequency is weird. The endless tones are full of unspeakable chaos and madness. The voice was sometimes low, sometimes sharp, sometimes came from the sky, and sometimes exploded in the ear. An unparalleled sense of oppression swept over like a tsunami, drowning the invigilator in an instant. The invigilator's eardrums oozed bright red blood. Under the terrifying power of destroyer sound, he lost all consciousness and ability to act and think in an instant. An emotion called panic overflowed his mind, covered his face, and invaded his soul. At this moment, every corner of the invigilator's body, every hair, every cell, every pore, was trembling uncontrollably. But this invigilator is a senior creator after all. The world opened up as a powerful high-level civilization. After dozens of seconds had passed, the invigilator's consciousness, which was on the verge of collapse, finally regained a trace of clarity with difficulty. With only this remaining consciousness, the invigilator summoned his own world with all his might. His world is the lizard civilization. In the boundless sea, the creators upgrade the world, basically divided into two roots. For example, Zhang Qianqin, Wu Lingfeng, etc., are taking the path of cultivating top-level combat power with all their strength. The number of extraordinary creatures in this kind of world is mostly rare, but the combat power of each creature is outrageously strong. And the other part of the creators took the route of winning by numbers. They will create as many creatures as possible, 
although the strength of each creature is not outstanding, it can even be said to be mediocre. But the combat power formed by the superposition of these creatures cannot be underestimated. And the invigilator is taking the road of winning by numbers. Since he opened up the world, he has created hundreds of thousands of lizardmen in his own world. Although the level of these lizardmen is not high, they are only silver level. But they are all the types he selected after careful selection. And carefully bred and genetically modified at the time of creation. Fierce temperament, fearless to death to the extreme. The invigilator once relied on a vast number of lizardmen to defeat countless creators of the same level. This is his biggest whole card. The phantom of the invigilator's world suddenly projected behind him, it was a boundless yellow desert. The endless lizardmen all live in the desert, and their vitality is extremely tenacious. Almost instantly, the lizardmen all over the desert felt the call of the great creator, they roared loudly and came in groups. These lizard people are strong and strong, and the smallest individuals are more than two meters tall. They are covered with turquoise hard skin, their sharp toes and claws are shining with a gloomy light, and they spit out scarlet seeds. They look extremely terrifying. Fight for the great creator. Tear everything to shreds. Come on. Led by the leader of the lizard men, these lizard men army set off the yellow sand all over the sky, and charged to the edge of the world in the blink of an eye. It seemed that they were about to break out of the barrier, but the next moment, a low-pitched siren suddenly entered the ears of all the lizard men. Click, 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 crisp cracking sounds sounded one after another, and the solid bodies of those lizard men charging at the forefront shattered almost instantly. Ferocious cracks covered every corner of their bodies, and blood gushed out from the facial features of these lizard men in an instant. The thick and thick skin on their bodies that has been modified to have a terrifying defensive power failed to provide them with even the slightest bit of protection. Almost at the same time, hundreds of lizard men died. Among them is the most powerful lizard leader. The rest of the lizard men were stunned. Died. Just. Dead. Question mark question mark question mark. What's the situation? Although they have experienced countless world battles, these lizard men are very used to death and sacrifice. But they have never seen so many companions die instantly in such a terrifying way. Dead without a sound, the appearance of death is horrifying. And, what about the enemy? Where is the enemy? How did it come about? These companions of mine, how did they die? These lizard men have low IQs, are cruel and bloodthirsty, fearless of death, and only know about destruction and killing. But at this moment, they felt unparalleled fear and fear. That was, a destructive aura. Driven by the survival instinct engraved in their bones, the creations of these lizard worlds ran away at a speed that was a hundred times faster than when they came. As for what the creator is doing now, they have long left them behind. Even the leader is dead, if we go there, we will just send the tower away in vain. The enemy is too powerful, strategic retreat is just to preserve combat power. It is not advisable to rely on brute force alone, learn to be flexible. I believe the Lord Creator will understand us. Seeing the smoke and dust all over the sky go away again, the invigilator almost spit out a mouthful of old blood. You guys, wait for labor and management. At this time, the strange siren had also slowly died down. The invigilator rushed out of the primeval forest like the rest of his life after a catastrophe, and scrambled and crawled away from this terrifying prison. Sitting slumped by the lake, he felt that his whole body was about to collapse. At this time, the invigilator was covered with hideous wounds. Although these wounds were not fatal to a high-level creator, they looked extremely miserable. That voice, where did it come from? The invigilator washed his face by the lake, looked back at the dead forest with lingering fear, and vaguely saw something unusual in the gaps in the forest. But when I looked closely, there was nothing there. The terrifying siren just now definitely has the ability to kill me easily. The hostility towards me is more like a warn. That is the most powerful creature in the territory, expelling outsiders. Fortunately, there is no strong malice towards me, otherwise I will definitely die here. The invigilator's heart beat violently, and the more he thought about it, the more frightened he became. What kind of strange things exist in this forest? Is it a living thing? But a creature that can emit such a terrifying sound wave is unheard of in the entire source country. Even in other countries in the Tianmang star field, I have never heard of it. 
And even if such terrifying creatures do exist, how could they appear in such a barren world? This world, definitely hides something unknown. I'm going out to ask Lin Mo well. The invigilator stood up, muttered to himself, and was about to leave. But he didn't realize at all that the dark lake behind him quietly lit up at this moment. A seemingly indistinct dangerous breath appeared in the invigilator's perception without warning. His heart skipped a beat involuntarily, and he subconsciously looked towards the forest ahead. The terrifying voice did not sound again. It's not that weird alarm. The invigilator let out a long sigh of relief, and looked around strangely, but found nothing. It's strange, how come there is a sudden sense of danger? The invigilator looked back subconsciously. Next moment. Mother. Help. Ah. A shrill scream resounded throughout the entire indescribable realm. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.